The following is factual basis for counts six and seven. On the evening of July 26, 1981, Sherry Domingo was sitting, house sitting for a relative at a home on Toltec Way in the city of Goleta in the county of Santa Barbara. The home was listed for sale and there'd been an open house earlier that day. Greg Sanchez, Sherry's friend, came over to spend the night on July 26. The home on Toltec Way is located approximately half a mile from the Offerman residence. San Jose Creek, a heavily wooded dry creek bed, runs alongside both properties. In the late morning on July 27, 1979, a realtor arrived at the home on Toltec Way to show the house to a potential buyer. The realtor tried to use his pass key to open the front door, but the security chain was still engaged from the inside. The realtor walked around the house and found a rear sliding glass door open. He went inside and saw Greg on the bedroom floor, obviously deceased, and called 911. In the early morning hours of July 27, 1979, the defendant, Joseph D'Angelo, removed a screen from an unlocked bathroom window at the home where Sherry and Greg were asleep in the master bedroom. The defendant reached inside the window and unlocked a door that leads into the bathroom from the rear yard. When the defendant entered the locked home on Toltec Way, he did so with the intent to rape and murder Sherry Domingo and to murder Greg Sanchez. As the defendant entered the master bedroom, he encountered Greg Sanchez, who was still in bed. The defendant fired his handgun at Greg. The bullet struck Greg's left cheek. This was a non-fatal wound. Greg, bleeding from the gunshot wound to his face, stood up to encounter the defendant. The defendant then forcefully beat Greg in the head with a blunt instrument, delivering 24 wounds and tears. None of these wounds was instantaneously lethal, and Greg later died due to massive brain damage and hemorrhaging from the blunt force trauma. After beating Greg to death, the defendant emptied the hanging clothes from the closet on top of Greg to conceal his body. When the defendant savagely beat Greg 24 times in the head, the defendant did so unlawfully and with malice aforethought. The defendant's decision to kill Greg Sanchez was willful, deliberate, and premeditated, as evidenced by beating him in the head at least 24 times, causing massive brain damage and bleeding after shooting him once in the face was unsuccessful in killing him. The defendant forced Sherry onto her stomach in bed. He tied her wrists together then brought her ankles to her wrists and bound them to her wrists. The defendant inserted his penis into Sherry's vagina without her consent and raped her. The defendant then beat Sherry in the head more than 10 times with the same weapon he used to kill Greg. One of the blows to Sherry's head caused a large gaping wound and massive skull fracture on the right side of her head which would have caused instantaneous death. The defendant removed the bindings from Sherry's wrists and ankles and covered her body with a blanket from the bed. A short length of hemp twine was found on the floor next to where Sherry lied. The blanket covering Sherry's body was later tested for biological evidence. Semen stains on the blanket were analyzed. The major male DNA profile from the stains was determined to be consistent with the defendant's DNA profile. The probability that another person randomly selected from the population will have the same DNA profile is approximately 1 in 530 quintillion African Americans, 1 in 2.8 quintillion Caucasians, and one in 3.4 quintillion Hispanics. 
This provides strong evidence that the defendant, Joseph D'Angelo, is the source of the DNA from the semen stains on this blanket. When the defendant savagely beat Sherry more than 10 times in the head, the defendant did so unlawfully and with malice aforethought. The defendant's decision to kill Sherry Domingo was willful, deliberate, and premeditated, as evidenced by tying her wrists and ankles together and beating her in the head at least 10 times with a blunt instrument. Thank you, counsel.